Good morning, everybody. This is Jean here. I am coming to you from my almost finished new sewing room. Um, I'll put some pictures up of what this room looked like before. Hopefully you can see this because I'm, I'm shooting sort of into the sunlight. I hope, hopefully the um, lighting will work out. This is a, um, we've just moved and this is a, my, what was the family room of um, our son's house. We've moved from our, our home into our son's home who bought a larger home. And this is my sewing room. He had uh, pretty much in this room a sectional and a television. And we have made this large room into sort of three zones, what I wanted. And I'm gonna take you back. Um, there's still a few things that have to be done. I'm gonna take you back to the very uh, beginning when we walk into the room here. It has two very large windows. Again, please excuse the lighting, but um, I gave up a dining room, a formal dining room, if you've been checking out my other videos, and, and I had a whole bunch of stuff. I got rid of about three quarters of my possessions. Um, but in this little, uh, little antique chest here, I just wanted to show you, I'll go slowly. Um, I have some of my, some of my precious china that I um, obviously didn't get get rid of. My Royal Albert and my uh, Royal Albert Enchantment, Old Country Roses and Enchantment. These are my two sets of china that I did keep from my china closet. And they are in there. <laughs> I, I got rid of quite a lot of things again about four or five videos ago. You can see how I da downsized. I kept sort of, tried to keep sort of the best of the best. Um, my grandmother's clock. Our, our daughter just got back or a few months ago from Vietnam and she bought us some chocolate. And this is a little card from my, our granddaughter, Sophia. Um, this was my mother's when I was a little girl, blah, blah, blah. These are some of my teacups. I still have yet to, um, oh, there's my, my Russian cat. I still have yet to hang things up. I'm really being um, very caught not cautious but very circumspect as to what i'm hanging up on the walls um because of if you remember my other house our other house i had a lot of stuff on the walls and i don't have a lot of walls here um, i'll come around to this area here this is my little seating area we have a we have a living room in the other part of the house but this little seating area again if you've seen jen and i my friend jen and i i sort of wanted to copy this little area right here of my, our long sofa, old-fashioned sofa. Very small scale, but it's very comfortable. It must be 60, 70, 80 years old. Um, one, of my, one of my quilts I put on the back of it. I had made these little pillows. Serenity. <laughs> when I embroidered them with my embroidery machine. And this one says, relax, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to after this move <laughs> nearly killed me well i'm getting i'm getting much better and again this is this is our little seating area and we built this little half wall here you can see in another video us uh, maxwell and my husband constructing that half wall to divide this large room so this is our little seating area I had a porch at our last home. We don't have a porch anymore. And, this, and um, I have quite a few things. This is a little outdoor tea cart, but this was in my dining room. It wasn't on the porch. It was in my dining room. And I don't have a porch now, so I, we only have a deck out back. So I thought, well, I'll bring it in here. It's okay. And I have, I have some bits in here, my apothecary jars, and some quilts on the bottom there. I did buy this rug. Uh, I just bought that rug, I think, from Walmart, a very inexpensive rug. If you, again, refer back to uh, some of the other videos, um, I have a very large, we have a beautiful large blue rug. It did not fit in this room, um, and so that was that. Uh, so that's in storage right now. Here's one of my quilts that I had made. I mean, I, you can actually see me making this quilt, my bicycle quilt, which was in a magazine. <laughs> and then it goes up to this... Uh, sort of platform up here, which we have some storage up there, some boxes we have yet to unpack. But there's my special guy. <laughs> Every sewing room has to have a sumo wrestler, right? <laughs> Freaks people out. As you can see, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Again, coming around, I have a large clock. Everybody has a large clock, right? But it's good. Man cave. And then this here is my 
this here is, uh, is going to be our ladder. This is, my, this is going to be my uh, Quiet Glide library ladder that's going to go on, uh, onto my shelves. Try to go very slowly here. So this is a, that's our little seating area. This here is my little office area. Our husband, my husband had uh, constructed this again from reusing all of our materials from our, my other sewing room. He made a little, again, a little half wall. And there is my Patty C. She, she also is in a magazine. And again, the ledge up there, which has storage, which eventually I will be showing where we're going to be putting that. That's some more f uh, fabric things. That back there is a little bathroom. So it's very convenient for me. <laughs> I, just re I just got a, um, I think for like 12 bucks, these uh, very stretchy office chair covers. Because my chair was just black. And I went on Amazon and got this pretty, pretty office chair. Pretty uh, stretchy floral chair. So that's my little office area. I love this one. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> I'm trying to. Ugh. And then again, here that in, that room into there is into our bed and uh, into our master bedroom, right there. This is a rancher, what you call bungalow, one-story home. And now this here is my sewing area. This is our one. This is one of our my my walls. And again, if any of you are new and see. I will, I, I will admit right now, it will take me forever, or not forever. Um, I will never possibly be able to use all my fabric. That's a given. I have very, very much fabric. This to me, though, is art. This is my art installation. I do go shopping in my, I do make a lot of quilts and I go shopping in my fabric shelves. Um, but it's, t it's art to me. And um, we don't, we don't do a lot of other things, but we enjoy my fabric my husband enjoys building uh, again if you so that's one uh, shelving again if you had seen the other videos we were going to re reuse my kitchen island that didn't happen um, I bought another one because our son who is redoing our other home um, readying for it for sale he said mom it goes with the kitchen blah 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 just buy yourself another little island which I did um, again, it, it was delivered a very nice table, uh, table top. It has two, two, uh, drawers over there for my rotary cutters and my scissors. I can, uh, put some of my, my quilts on there for display. And I measured it carefully so that my mat here, my cutting mat, which is a Martelli cutting mat, you've seen me use in my other sewing room, fits beautifully. And then I swear by my Fiskars rulers, um, my rotary cutter combo ruler combination um, so there's there's my 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 uh, shabby chic on the top and then I have over here some of my jelly rolls and my uh, my fat quarters and like that now up there is going to be another shelf there's going to be another shelf about 16 inches above this one. We just ran out of the material and we have to go to Home Depot. And, but what is on this part here, this, this piece of uh, uh, top shelving there, which is going to be shored up with another very solid piece of wood, that's going to have a 16 foot from this corner all the way to that corner of rail, which is over there, which I showed you. And then my library ladder is going to roll along that that top rail so I'll be able to get up to that new shelf up there right now we've just put our mannequins up there the uh, carousel oh perhaps they will um, the, man the tall mannequin in the corner will not will not fit but my carousel probably because it's probably going to go up maybe about 15 or 16 inches above that existing shelf and then I will hang another quilt or quilts up there on that expansive wall. If you saw my last video, I believe my husband was hanging these quilts, which again, we hung with little tiny nails. Um, I didn't bother using um, um, rods and hardware uh, because I'll probably be changing these out a little bit. 
or not. I quite like it now. Behind these closed curtains, which I'm not opening, is our, is our deck <laughs> looking out to the woods. And it's a mess right now because we're still doing work in my, um, our master bedroom. And so, um, it's, it's all construction saws out there. And this is just, these, these bits here are just, um, are just sort of stuck here. This is my, these are two of my chandeliers. This is my dining room chandelier from our older house. And this is a chandelier I have yet to clean from our daughter Malia's room. Um, this chandelier, Jen and I had taken off all the crystals. So it took us about two hours and took pictures of it. Um, and we are going to be hanging this, this chandelier up in my sewing room somewhere. And I don't know quite where we're going to hang that one up. So that, that, that area is just a slight bit of a mess. Um, I have a little bit of wall over here that I'm going to be putting my thread holders in there. And then over here. I'm going to be putting thread over here. This is a little area my husband made uh, for my ironing board. And then I, I had, this is my, another fabric wall. I had run out of steam, as you can see. I, I, was, I was folding fabric and folding fabric, and I just ran out of steam. I tried to color coordinate it, but this, this wall, I have my blue. And, and, I, and if everybody knows, I, my, my least favorite color is blue. Look at all my blue fabric. But I came to the conclusion, I'm, I'm desperately trying to... I buy blue fabric. I just don't use it. Isn't that funny? I have to make some blue quilts. And then up there are some totes with my specific fabrics. My 30s fabrics, my plaids, my homespuns, my flannels. Everything is marked pretty good. And again, again, I have a, a seat cover. And there's a ton of storage under here, under my workstations, which... Um, are, it's, it's a little bit of a mess. I have, I have to coordinate it yet. Oh, there's one of my thread holders. Now, this is my workhorse machine, my Juki. As you know, I've, I love my Juki. This is a Juki Mini uh, TL 2200 QV, uh, QVP Mini. No, whatever. No, a Mini. And if anybody asks, <laughs> these flowers rub on decals are, fr are co they're called floral tattoos and they're from a company f called urban elements e l e m and t t uh, elements with a z urbanelements.com and they have a real nice wide selection of these rub on decals you can put them on mixers on appliances i put them on my sewing machine here on my juki which has been wonderful i have my ot light here which was over there in my other sewing room um, here. And I, I haven't yet sewn. <laughs> I've set this all up and I haven't yet sewn. I'm so tired. Um, I'm just setting everything up. Um, I do put, I do, I did get myself a new yoga mat. This is a pretty substantial yoga mat. If you can see that. Um, I think I got that at TJ Maxx. Um, both of them. And I cut, I cut them. I cut them to fit. And that your machine if you're having trouble with your machine sort of jumping all over the place, it doesn't jump at all. So that's my Juki. That is just a straight stitch machine. All it does is straight stitch. Oh, my, I have a Husqvarna embroidery machine down there. I don't do a lot of embroidery anymore. So I don't, I don't have that out. But I have, I did use my, when I started making my videos, you'll notice I had gotten my brother, VQ3000, this machine here. And I just got it back from being, um, serviced. It has, this is a computerized machine, this has 29 million stitches. <laughs> I use this machine like no one's business and I had retired it for a bit. Um, it does a beautiful stitch, uh, all sorts of computerized stitches and blah blah blah. So, so I just had it serviced and I'm going to bring it back into, into the family here. So I've set that up on this side of the table when I want to do some decorative stitching. And then I have another little machine here, a Husqvarna Sapphire. I do like Husqvarnas, and I like Brothers, and of course I like my Jukies. And again, this does a beautiful satin stitch, and everything has a, a little a, a place. People say, why in the world do you need, you know, so many machines? It's ridiculous. Well, um, if any of you who have sewn and know your machine has to go in for service, and you don't have a machine, you could be stuck for two weeks, a month without a machine. I also, I just wanted to show you this. Oh, let me come around here. I have my little tiny brother machine in here, which um, I had bought for our daughter, Malia. Um, that just slots in there. And if our grandchildren come, they can use that little machine. I have some stuff shoved in there. This little half wall is full of my books. 
my quilting books. And again, because this is an open concept home, I don't have a lot of surfaces. So I begged my husband to build this little half wall. So I, I, again, I chose, I chose the few little bits <laughs> of my little sort of Victoriana stuff that I had um, to go on this little half wall with my pretty doilies. This house is a more modern home. I had a very traditional home. Um, so hence I have all this traditional stuff. <laughs> um, I find these hat boxes, stacked hat boxes, which I have all over the place, incredible amount of storage, very pretty, very pretty. I have rulers and thread and notions and patterns and all sorts of things in my hat boxes. And here's another set, here's another set that I have over there. They hold a, a, a vast amount of things. Um, and again, there's a, my, this chair is a, just a plain pink cover and, and storage under here. And again, I won't be using these machines as much, but I will be using my Juki over there for about 80% of my, my quilting. Again, I'm, I'm just filming into the light. You must excuse me. Um, here's a, a ruler holder for some of my larger rulers. Oh, there's my candelabra, my sterling candelabra, which I had no place to put it, <laughs> so I put it there. And my, um, my thread tower, but I, they, I, my husband should be making me a, um, a shelf. And again, I want to show you, going slowly, uh, a very good storage idea. Again, TJ Maxx, uh, Hobby Lobby, Joanne Fabrics, they have these, uh, Michaels Crafts, they have these storage books, boxes, they're very, very, very handy. Watch my, they're very handy to put rulers and templates and all sorts of things, and they look pretty. My husband built that shelf just for them. We had to be creative, and we were blessed to have this room. Again, the, um, the ladder will be going up there. This again, there's my, there's the half wall and my office on the other end, on the other side, I have more magazines. My Accu quilt cutter and my dies are in there. And again, there's my, my Patty C. She was in a recent magazine. I was so thrilled. Art Quilting Studio magazine. And then last year, my bicycle quilt was in a magazine. Oh, I, I hung up a little, <laughs> I hung up a little birdhouse that I had. So, this is this, and this is going into our little kitchen nook here, and so I just made curtains because it was a large opening. As I said, it's a very much of an open concept, so I, we really did try to um, differentiate the spaces because we lost a dining room, we lost the family room, we lost the library, we lost a den, we lost a Two bedrooms. This is a lovely home, though. We're quite thrilled. It's just three of us now. Ma our Elliot had moved into, he's got an apartment up near his brother and sister who live in a nearby town. Um, so he's thrilled. He's moved out. So it's just Maxwell, my husband, and I in this home, which is just wonderful. It's just beautiful. I will be showing you Maxwell's rig. Um, Maxwell, we just yesterday, the Maxwell's our, our 20 year old son who is autistic, um, has epilepsy, does very, very well. It's, uh, the move is, he's been so wonderful. So, 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 so awesome. Um, however, yesterday we had to go and register him in the new school system, a new, a new program, and he balked a little bit. Um, so they were very, very kind, very understanding, and are trying to accommodate him um, and the move. He, didn't, he wasn't freaking out, but he was very concerned with uh, some of the change that might be, have to happen because we moved counties. We moved uh, from Bucks County, Pennsylvania to Montgomery County. We're literally about a half a mile away from the border county line road, but um, they, it's a whole different county. So we're taking it day by day with our Maxwell. He's very good. We keep a l very good line of communication open with our Maxwell. Um, he's a, such a dear child, or man, young man, very helpful. He has moved us. We did this very quickly. It was like ripping a Band-Aid off. We had to do this quickly. He is very settled. I will be showing you his rig, his driving rig, because he's not able to drive. Um, but when he's um, feeling up to it, he's pretty, he's pretty okay. But this, this latest little schooling glitch has got him uh, slightly upset. So I don't want to rock, um, rock the boat with him. So when he's ready to be filmed, 
with his rig because I know you guys who have been following um, are anxious to see Maxwell. Such a sweetheart. So anyway, I just wanted to show you our new sewing room here. I know you guys have been interested and have been supporting us in our endeavors. Um, and I want to be back sewing. Um, we're exhausted. <laughs> And uh, to be honest, I don't feel like sewing right now. <laughs> Isn't that funny? But I think any of you who have downsized to this enormous degree um, from 4,200 square foot to, other than this room, about 1,200 square foot, um, I, I did, we did pretty good. But it's been very gut-wrenching. Um, but we are blessed. We are blessed beyond with our friends and our family who have helped um, to create my lovely room. Um, my husband has been so supportive and so kind and built whatever I wanted, whatever I needed at this stage of my life, having raised 10 children. It's been a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, uh, transition. At this point, we had the choices to make in this downsizing. I recommend it to people. If you have the choice and the energy and the help to do it while you can, as opposed to having a, um, your hand forced, if circumstances, I would highly recommend it. It's exhausting, but we did it. If you, we did it, you guys, you can do it. So anyway, there's our new sewing room. I know you've been anxious to see the tour, 20 minutes of it. I hope I didn't bore you. Um, my next video, hopefully my husband will be able to, and the boys, our sons will be able to build the shelf, the new shelf and the rolling ladder. <laughs> I feel like Beauty and the Beast, right? <laughs> my rolling library ladder to reach the top shelves. I do have a tall step ladder, but that was my one indulgence. We reused almost everything, all of the shelving. Um, I did buy the, as I said, I do, did buy the new, the new kitchen island here, um, which made sense. Um, but my indulgence was my library ladder. Um, so, oh, and that chair over there, if you remember our dining room, we had gotten um, rid of our dining room table. We had 12 chairs, a dining room table, two buffets, and a large china closet. A large, I kept one chair. I'm like, I want a little bit of my, <laughs> I want one dining room chair. So my husband said, of course. So we kept, I think we kept two actually. And uh, yeah, so there's our, there's my sewing room, office, and sitting room, all combined. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. Okay, thank you again, folks. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Take it into